Hello, my name is William Wallace. I was born around 1270. It is believed that my parents were killed when I was at a very young age. So I was raised by my by my two pre by my two uncles who were priests. I was very well educated knowing both French and Latin. But unfortunately, in 1286, my king of Scotland had died. The Scottish lords were fighting over to see who should be the new king. They asked King Edward, and he said, pledge your allegiance to me and I will help you choose your king. They pledged their allegiance to Edward, and sure enough, he chose John Beloyal. And back then, they called him the empty coat, which means a weak king. So Edward took this to his advantage and brought all of his soldiers into my country peacefully and but treated my people very bad. So I decided to fight back for my grief. And that made me a very wanted man. It was believed that I was married to Marion Bradford. She was one of the most prettiest ladies in Scotland. But unfortunately, she was killed by the English sheriff of Lanark. When I got the news that Marion was murdered, I brought 30 Scots to help me, and I killed the sheriff and 240 other soldiers by burning down their houses. Word spread about my actions of what I did, and then soon enough, in my first battle, uh, I had an army of 3,000 Scots. Even though the English had numbered us three to one, we won. And and I rampaged all around North, North England and, and took Cumberland and North Cumberland. When I returned, I was knighted and called Sir William Moss. But, but on my second battle in Scotland, I wasn't so lucky. I lost the Battle of Falkirk. And, and then what also damaged me is the betrayal of my best Scottish troop, he was secretly loyal to King Edward. He turned me in in Glasgow, and, th and then I was trialed for treason. But I say, I, I cannot be trialed for treason, for I was never Edward's subject. Then I was brutally executed. Lessons we can learn about me is that if, is that I encouraged all of my people to fight for their freedom. And if you believe what, if you believe in your rights, you can become victorious.